Hi everyone, welcome to Out of Ammo. So this is a real-time strategy uh, tower defense style game. So you can see I have these little buildings here, which I can place. So this is a sniper tower, I'm gonna put it, say, right here. And then I have two sandbags, so let's put a sandbag over here and a sandbag over here. And then I have a group of units here who I can assign to my various defensive buildings. So in a sniper tower, let's put a sniper. And let's put another sniper inside this bunker. And then I have four riflemen, so let's assign a rifleman here, a rifleman here, a rifleman here, and oh, I have one other defensive building here. Looks like a machine gun nest. Um, I don't know if I can actually put him in here, because <laughs> it looks like it's clipping through the ground there. So I want to find the perfect spot for it. Maybe if I put it right there. <laughs> I hope that works. So as you can see, there are some enemies coming towards me. Time for me to fight. And I can just let my units do the fighting, RTS style. Let them uh, shoot at the enemies. Let's quickly assign the rifleman here. I don't know if he can make it in there. So you can see your units will just automatically fight. Or you can actually uh, take control of a unit and fight your enemies FPS style. Now, when you run out of ammo, there's unique... Uh, reloading mechanism for each gun. So for the assault rifle, you pull out the clip, drop it, pull another clip from your chest, put it in there. Which is pretty fun. Let's take on this wave. And then uh, when you go to these sandbags or to the bunkers, you'll also find grenades. So I can chuck a grenade down there. Oh god. I don't think that works. I really like the reloading mechanism in this game. So, this is a tower defense game, but it also has another mode that just came out actually called Overwatch mode. And it's kind of more of a uh, single player mission type mode where you play a uh, sniper in a sniper tower and you watch over a group of soldiers who need to be extracted from a combat zone. So I'm gonna play that in a little bit after uh, showing off this tower defense mode. Oops, looks like... Oh. No, just after a while, you can't... Um, you can't just stay inside a soldier indefinitely. After a little bit, uh, it's gonna force you out of him. But you can always just take over another one. So this is the sniper. The sniper reloading mechanism is interesting, so... Well, I don't see anyone to snipe. There we go. Where are they? <laughs> there, there's someone. I missed him. Okay, so you pull back the bolt, take a bullet, put it in, push the bolt back in. So, uh, sniping's kind of tough in this game. It's a lot of effort to reload properly. Gotcha. Alright, so let's uh, get out of the sniper nest here. did figure out where to put this uh, machine gun nest. Well, that's okay. I'm going to put another bunker up. And let's see. I'm actually going to take this sniper out of here and I'm going to put a rocket launcher in there instead. Hey, guy. No one was killing that guy for some reason. Okay, so now I can assign one of my, I actually wanted this guy to go do stuff, but oh well, I'll just take over. Oh, so this game is in early access, but it's basically on the tail end of early access and it's going to be going into a full release real soon. Uh, and they're actually going to be increasing the price when it becomes a full release. It's $15 right now. So if you like what you see, then you might want to go ahead and pull the trigger on this game because the price will be increasing sometime in the near future. And what the, um, what the full release is going to bring is online co-op play, which sounds really cool. Uh, I don't know what else though. So I decided to make a video before that happened just so I could show this off, and if anyone wants to buy this, 
uh, before the full release, then I highly recommend you go do that. So there's a variety of special abilities that you can use. Oh no, I think I just used it on my own troops. Yep, so I just bombed my own bunker there with an artillery strike, but you can see what it does. It's pretty devastating. My guy died instantly. And the other one is strafing run. Oh, I don't have enough for that. Here's sniper shot. So you kind of shoot in a line. Very useful if they're lined up, but uh, not so useful against just like one or two guys. But let's try it anyways. Interesting. I don't even know if that worked properly. Ooh, they actually have a sniper. Okay. So, ideally I would have my own sniper to deal with this guy. And I think I have a sniper somewhere, right? Oh, this is not a sniper. I killed my sniper with the artillery. Mm, what happened to my sniper? Which one of you is a sniper? You. You're a sniper. Ugh, oh, god damn it. He didn't have a bullet in his chamber. Did I miss that? Oh, I did it. I got him. Oh no, there's more guys coming from the <laughs> coming from the back. Oh god, this isn't good. I'm not prepared for this. But I can prepare. Let's see. So tower. Uh so machine gun nest. These bad boys. Okay. Let's get a sniper in there. Looks like the terrorists are overrunning me. This isn't good. Let's get a rifleman in there. I'm actually overloaded on snipers right now. Make sure everything is properly set up. I don't know why my units think it's okay to just leave rocket launcher dudes behind. Now, the rocket launcher, back when I played, it was super OP and you'd basically just stand in a rocket launcher unit all day and kill everything, but uh, now you only get about three shots at the rocket launcher, so you really want to make them count. Which I did not do there. So I don't know what this is, it looks like some sort of medic uh, building. Now there's no enemies coming, but I just want to show off uh, how cool the machine gun is. So you grab it with both hands, and then you can just unleash hell with it. <laughs> okay. Oops. Oh, lots of dudes. No, I can't. I can't. No. Okay. Oh man, this wall is really high. I'm right up against my grid. We'll just throw out some grenades to the hell of it. And me out. Alright, so I didn't really set up my defenses that great. I've never played this map before after all. Whoa! Okay, we have been breached. Terrorists are spilling in from all sides. Can I blow up that, that barrel? I can. Awesome. Too bad I didn't do anything. Here we go. If I stand on my tippy toes, I get a better angle. Uh-oh. Sniper. I'm so bad at using scopes. There we go. No! That was horrible. Okay. Get him? Yeah, I got him. Alright guys, so that is the tower defense mode in uh, Out of Ammo. It doesn't really get much more interesting. Um, so I don't want this video to be too long, and I do want to show off the Overwatch mode and try it out myself, so... I am going to quit the main menu here. And
and show that off. So here we have Mission Overwatch. Let's try it out. All right, this is cool. So I'm in this tower. Uh, oh, I do have a teleport mechanic. And can I use this? Sweet, I can change out to a assault rifle if I want. Whoops. Hmm. Not sure how to change back to the, uh, there we go. I feel like assault rifle is probably a better choice for me because I suck with the sniper rifle. But yeah, this is cool. This is actually a lot like that game, The Nest, where you just stand in a tower, although this is much more colorful. <laughs> so, uh... Is there anything I have to do to start the mission? Oh, looks like it started. Now, I don't want to hit my own guys. Here we go. The enemies always look like terrorists. I want the assault rifle. The uh, <laughs> reloading mechanism is cool and all, but I prefer just rapid fire shooting and easy reloading. Scope is very pixelated. So I haven't actually been very useful to my squad yet. They're kind of just holding their own. While I look around for enemies. It's hard to see things in the distance on Vibes, so... Scope is definitely useful, despite being so pixelated. Man, I missed every single shot there. I think that's just a corpse. But we'll shoot at it nonetheless. Ooh. This is just the very first implementation of this mechanic, but it shows that they're trying to take this game in a direction that's not just pure tower defense, which I like, although this is basically standing in a tower and defending, but yeah, it's cool. Let's go back to the sniper. Not having too much success with the assault rifle. And the scope is much clearer on the on the sniper rifle, which is nice. So Can you go down there? No. Oh. Helicopter's here. Does that mean my team's getting extracted? Did I win? <laughs> I feel like I didn't kill anyone, but I guess I won. Oh, <gasps> jerk. Gotcha. Let's see. No, I still got, I still got guys down there. I guess the helicopter can only hold one at a time. Okay. Trying to keep my eyes peeled for movement here. There we go. Ooh, they're all lined up for me. Damn it. So yeah, this is very similar to the game The Nest. Of course, Minecraft graphics, but also fighting enemies that actually do stuff Instead of just walk around aimlessly and having an objective. I can try to lead my shot. Whoops. Yeah, I killed one. Maybe two. So 
This is a cute little town, though. I like the music. Is that a drone? I hope it's not going to attack our team. My squad just kills them too fast. It's a little off-putting because um, the bullets move a lot faster in this than they do in the actual out of ammo when you're using a sniper rifle. So let's see. Yeah. They move very slow in the regular tower defense mode. So I'm not sure how much I should be leading my targets. Yay, I got him. Yes. Getting the hang of it, or maybe it's just a good angle for me. Ooh, I let him too much there. Yes! <laughs> That's cool. Lost? Oh no. Thought I was doing good, but nope. Team six suffering casualties. Damn it. Keeping my eyes peeled for any movement. Damn it. These terrorists don't have a very good plan. Should probably group up a little more. Oh. Yes. Eye is itching. Always an issue in VR for me. Oh. Here they come. Alright, got one. my team doing here. <laughs> Guess there's no friendly fire. Sweet. Helicopter's coming in, I hear it. Hold down the floor a little bit longer. Come on. Oh shit! You know us. Really suck at this. Unit saved. Are there even any units left now? I thought there was only two guys there. Although I can see a guy. I think he's screwed. Where's the enemy at? <laughs> I 
<laughs> God damn it. And yeah, there they are. I cannot get a bead on them. Oh god, they're overwhelming him. They're in his face. This guy's just holding down. I am of no help at all. Damn it. Thought I had that shot. Oh boy. This is an embarrassing video. Oh! <laughs> I lost. Okay. From these saved, three headshots, three multi kills, one. Enemy kills 83. Not by me, obviously. Okay. So that's out of ammo. Um, like I said, it's going into uh, actual release real soon. The price is going to go up. As you can see, it's in version 0 0.9 right now. It'll be going into 1.0 soon. So uh, if you like what you see, definitely check it out. It's a fun game. I think it's the best tower defense style game on the Vive, honestly. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you're into VR, please check out my channel. Have a great day, and goodbye. All right, start pumping out these defenders. Once I get enough, I can open the portal and start expanding. Kick my economy into high gear. All right, here comes the next wave. By the way, this is your like friend bot, I think he's called, and he tells you when the waves are coming. Get out of the way, friend bot. I got aliens to kill. This game is very yellow, which is a plus for me because yellow is my favorite color.